What's going on everyone? So I want to do a quick, quick intro to this video and I realized a part of this video I gotta do I gotta do it right now because I'll, I'll explain in a second. So in this video I'm gonna cover two things. We got an Acura Integra that's getting one of our turbo kits and we have an Acura RSX that the customer did an engine swap on it and he needed us to finish a bunch of other stuff and one of the one of the things that we needed to do was uh, the intercooler piping. Um, I'm not sure who did it beforehand but it, it just didn't fit good. He wasn't happy with it. So what we're gonna be doing in this video is, and he, he's not aware of this at all and he's actually at the shop right now. Um, it's very early, it's before we even open. Um, we invited him to actually do breakfast with us. So he's he's unaware of though he's gonna be taped and we're gonna get his reaction and uh, hopefully my phone hopefully everything's good because my camera mount is still kind of uh, broken but uh, he has no clue we're gonna we're gonna tape his reaction none at all uh, we were talking yesterday he was joking around a little bit and he, uh, he you know I, I told him it's it's like a big reveal we haven't uh, showed him any pictures and you know he said it feels like an episode of like pimp my ride and you know, gave me an idea that I wanted to tape his reaction. The other thing that we have going on and that we've been working on uh, behind the scenes more so is uh, I'm going to start a podcast here. And it's also, it's going to be on YouTube because we're going to be doing a bunch of hands-on stuff to, to help you guys. And that's that's ultimately what it's all about is you guys. So um, I'm going to get to the shop. Uh, we, we actually invited the customer to eat breakfast with us in the morning times. We... We'll wake up. We're uh, we're here, crazy hours. We've been working nonstop, so he's gonna be doing breakfast with us, and that's also something too that we're gonna um, we're gonna let him know on camera that part of this podcast thing. And when I say it's for you guys, we're, we're I'm trying to give back to you guys. I've been doing this for a while. Um, it's it's all about helping out, and I think this is gonna be something that that is gonna be cool. Uh, we're gonna invite him on the podcast. We're gonna talk, um, and we're just gonna go from there and see what happens. So, uh, the other thing I will mention too, while I'm doing this little intro, and you guys are watching, is uh, two things. Any ideas you have, or you want us to cover, you want me to cover during the podcast, um, we have the the first episode. We're gonna be showing you guys how to do some electrical stuff. Um, but anything, give me ideas. That's what I want. The other thing, as I'm rolling up to the shop here, so I'm gonna make it quick. Um, I'm, I'm not, you know, with technology and, and microphones and stuff like that. Uh, give me some recommendations for a, a, an affordable, you know, inexpensive setup. I'm not looking to spend $10,000 on podcast stuff. Um, but that's about it. And when I come back here, as I'm pulling up here, uh, we'll get into it a little bit more. We'll explain a little bit more. But I wanted to do a quick intro. And, and once again, like I said, he has no clue what what's uh, that we're going to tape this and ask him if he wants to be on our podcast so I'll be back so as I hold the camera here and I just asked him if he's okay with being on camera I'm gonna fucking flip the camera right here so introduce yourself a little bit my name is DeAndre I own a 2003 Acura RSX Type S six-speed manual and hoping to push 450 maybe 500 horses so I'm gonna flip the camera back over here and I'm gonna try not to uh shake it as much as I was just shaking it and I'm gonna try not to swear so I do apologize by the, on, on that one but uh, he also owns a brand new type R we'll walk out there too so as I said before this uh, and he's gonna be nervous because he didn't know he was on camera and I just asked him if he was okay with it but uh, we're all gonna come back here and we're gonna we're gonna let's go check out your car and now I'm gonna try not to get my fingers and stuff involved and got a tension up on the lift that we're doing a clutch on and Fernie you want to uh, lift the hood Clean. So as I said in the video before, and take it in, enjoy it. I'm a, I'm actually a little nervous for you, man. I want to make sure you're. This is clean. <laughs> I can't wait to drive it. <laughs> so we spent a lot of time uh, polishing the pipe up. We wanted to make it look all nice and pretty for you. We know what you've been through with this car, right. and um, we wanted to make it special for you. And uh, now I'm gonna come back because. I'm gonna let him soak this in for a little bit. 
and uh, we don't have to be in front of the camera for that. So I'll come back and I'll do the whole setup and we'll go from there. I'll be right back. So I'm going to, I'm going to walk out really quick. I'm going to show you his type R and then I'm going to let him get in front of the camera by himself where he can uh, not be super nervous or shy. Um, what you have to remember too is, you know, people are not used to being in front of the camera. So the uh, clips that you saw right before this, he, he didn't, it was literally, I asked him if he was cool being on camera and I whipped my phone out and he was on camera. So it's not like he knew this was coming. Um, I wanted to make sure that it wasn't scripted and, and it's, it's not rehearsed. So right now he's still looking over the car. I told him, you know, he could look it over a little bit longer, a little bit more with, uh, with, with, uh, our techs and our fabricators, the, to go over everything and uh, that's where we're at so I'm gonna let him get in front of the camera do his thing uh, I told him you know put it on a tripod we'll leave the room he can he can give you his full experience and that was the other thing too when I was revealing the car that um, I didn't want to be right in his face you know it, it's one of those things where I didn't want to ruin his moment by sticking a camera in his face if that makes sense and I was more so I was almost more so nervous and, and excited for him to see it that's why my camera was actually shaking because, you know, the best part of this job is seeing you guys uh, and, and well, seeing your reaction when, when you get the car and, and seeing how you guys like it. And I mean, that's that's what we do day in and day out. We do it for you guys. I mean, we really do. Yes, it's a job. Uh, yes, it's a it's a grilling job and it, it takes some some long hours and time. But at the end, the reward is is awesome. And that's why everybody that works here loves it. So. I'm going to go outside really quick, show you his Type R, and then I'm going to let him do his, his talking. So here's just one of his other cars. Beautiful, beautiful new Type R. You got to like that license plate. So we're going to go back in. I'm going to let him uh, let him do another video, and I'll, I'll show the car one more time too because I didn't get a full a full little rundown of the car. Okay, so... He asked me if I can sit on board for this, and uh, he's nervous. He's never done this before, really. I don't know, as far as I know, you've never done it, right? Nope. So, uh, give a little rundown, too. He's not getting paid. Uh, he's not sponsored by us. Um, there's no special quirks here where it's like, hey, say this, or I'm not going to sit here and punch him in the stomach to say this. Basically, he wants me to kind of kind of guide him of where to go with it. Basically, you can... Uh, but let's first say that you've been coming here roughly, what, about two years-ish, three years? About two and a half years. Two and a half years, so you got the Acura, uh, Acura RSX, of course. Um, almost said Integra, because that's what I got to cover after this. Um, basically, going into detail about the car. You're so He was just explaining to us at one point the car was hit. Um, he also explained earlier he brought it here because he knows what he's capable of, but he also doesn't know what he's capable of, um, as far as in a sense where he doesn't want the car to... To, to leak oil, blow up, and be a safety concern. So he, he kind of knows what he can't do, and that's where we're involved. Um, well, how's your experience so far with us? My experience here at RC Auto Works is great. I can honestly say this. You all are a big part of why my car is running today. You all are family to me, good friends, and y'all do a great job as far as knocking things out. Any time to imagine. <laughs> so I was hoping that phone wasn't going to throw you off there. Um, so we are actually, it's during business hours. Um, I asked the office manager to step out really quick so we get a video so he answered the phone. But, you know, along the short, basically what this is and what we're trying to do here is I am trying to give back to the customers, the clients. And I made a post on Facebook about this without you guys. And it, it might sound sappy. It might sound like, oh, man, businesses just say that. It's really true, without people like him, we would not be where we're at. And it's very, it's a good experience with us to see people more so care about us. And that's where he's been as well. Um, in this summer, he would come in and he would give us water. He would make sure we were okay. And I've had some health issues. He knows a little bit about, like what my mom has been battling with and, and how she, she beat cancer. He'll send me messages every now and then, just, hey, how's everything? You know, I don't need to check up on my car. I just want to make sure you're, you're cool. I want to make sure the guys are cool. We had a super hot day. And, um, you know, that's what it's about for us. You know, yes, it's a business. Yes, you know, it, we're here and we're working nonstop. And there's some days where we're banging our heads against the wall because we can't solve something. But 
you know, getting this little interaction here is what I'm trying to highlight more to show people that it's not just about, okay, your car's finished, come in and pay me. Um, we're not gonna even go over what we did. You know, from day one of running this business, it's always been about the customer. I was raised by two very good parents that they always told me to go the extra mile, take the time out. And that's also kind of too why I wanted to bring him in. I, want, I invited him for breakfast this morning. He can see how, you know, it's, we don't do crazy stuff for breakfast. We're not doing cartwheels. We're not even like prime rib. Sure. But, um, you know, just to kind of get a little interaction and feel. And, you know, that's what we're trying to give back. So, any other closing statements? Uh, no, not really. He's, Let's he's just make power. <laughs> he's, he's speechless. So, you're going to see him a little bit more. He said that he'd come on the podcast. He might be a little quiet on that podcast, but maybe I'll get him to talk a little bit more. Maybe we'll talk about some other stuff just besides his car. And uh, I'm going to go back. I'll show you guys his car. We'll start it up. You guys can hear it run. And then we're going to go back to the Integra, and I'll talk maybe a little bit more about the podcast stuff. If not, we do have the podcast coming out shortly, too, so you'll see all about that. So, uh, number one, I appreciate you. Appreciate you, too, man. And Thanks for having me here. Oh, anytime, man. I appreciate you guys and girls, and I'll be back. Thank you. So here it is, and you know I was trying to get his reaction, and as I was saying, uh, I was almost uh, more nervous and excited than he was just to show it to him. Uh, it's a really, really clean setup, nice setup. Um, basically, at this point, it's just ready for the dyno, so it will be seeing the dyno. I'll hop in really quick. I'll get a very quick video of it running. And then I will go to the uh, Acura Integra and we'll talk about that one for a little bit. And we are over on the Integra now. So the Integra is getting one of our turbo kits and you can see right now it is actually in progress. We are in the middle of, of installing it and fabricating stuff. So you can see the downpipe is on and it is, it is semi-welded. The uh, dump tube is behind me and that's actually going to be welded up here shortly. Same with the intercooler piping. We have some little stuff that we got to clean up like that little clamp from his intake. And we're uh, actually in the middle of doing the injectors. So right now, which we're actually going to show you guys on the podcast, the connectors that we use. Uh, we're going to actually link you guys too um, on those connectors. So we, uh, we wire up the injectors directly we don't run the adapters. If you're familiar or you watch my videos before, then you know the feeling on those adapters and you also know why we don't run them. But the, uh, the injector adapters that are plug and play are notorious for causing misfire issues. And uh, that's about it. We also upgraded the clutch and the flywheel. Of course, you can't see that. Um, he does got a little slight leak here that we're gonna look into. Uh, we upgraded the intake manifold because he was well aware too of the, uh, the, the I'm trying to find the words here, of, of, a, of a stock GSR intake manifold, but let's just leave it at that it's not good. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much it. We do still got a lot of, a lot of little stuff, odds and ends to take care of and clean up and uh, to do, but you know, the majority of the stuff is done. Uh, the downpipe too, the one thing that we really keep in mind, and it's hard to see because it's dark, but ground clearance is a very, very big thing here. We make sure that it's tucked up nicely. It's a three inch downpipe, plenty of room, so he's not gonna have an issue scraping. And uh, on top of that, we gotta upgrade the ECU because it is a stock ECU at the, uh, at the time being. And I'm trying to see if there's anything else to to really discuss here. So this is basically, I mean, it's our basic kit. It's a ram horn manifold um, that we make, Precision Wastegate, our name brand turbo, which if you're not familiar with those two, um, I'll send, uh, put a couple links down below, ultimately of the other past turbo builds that we have done with our turbos. And the other thing too to mention, just in case you're looking at the setup and you're like, oh man, why are you turboing it? It's not the, uh, you know, it's not clean, it's leaking a little bit of oil. Um, before a car comes in for a turbo 
build like this, uh, we actually do a compression and a leak down test. And that's, that's actually included with the turbo kit itself. And basically, if the leak down and the compression numbers aren't good, and we tell the customer like, hey, your motor's weak, we shouldn't be boosting on it, um, you know, we, we tell them, hey, you're gonna need either a new motor, or get a healthier motor, or whatever it is, um, then the customer ultimately, he, do, he, he pays for the leak down and the compression test. But, you know, if not, and you can see that the uh, turbo, of course, is clearly on here, um, his motor, compression and leak down numbers were really, really good. So that's pretty much about it. As we finish up the turbo kit, do some more installation. And as I said, I'm gonna go into detail on our podcast about the electrical stuff. Only for the mere fact too that I've, I've told a couple people, showed a couple people how we've done stuff. And you know, a lot of people think to do it the correct way, it costs you a million dollars or uh, I had one guy say, well, you know, the, the tool I need for the crimper is like $100 to $200. And I'm like, uh, it's actually about $20. And you're going to see that in the podcast that we have coming up. And I'm going to show, I'm actually going to have a link to where you can buy it. And I was speaking to another customer who does a tool raffle group. And I actually told them, I said, hey, you know, what about giving one of these tools away? We'll, we'll do it on our uh, podcast. We'll talk about it. And you guys either give it away, you raffle it off or something cheap. And it's just, it's something a little bit, it, it, it's to help you guys out. Yeah, and the tool's only 20, 25 bucks. So I, I really don't know if it's worth even raffling something like that. But just trying to look ahead and trying to figure out how to help you guys out more. Because ultimately, as I was saying in these videos and what I, what I want to do and want to ultimately give back to you guys, either with knowledge um, and info. And, and like I said, just something little the uh, 20 to $25 tool we use where people think, you know, you got to spend a hundred to $200 and you know, it, it is what it is in that sense. So that's about it guys. Hopefully you like this two part video. I'm going to keep them coming here. We got a couple more in the works that we're that I'm filming. And uh, I think that's about it. As I always say in my videos, and I don't think I got to this one because it was a lot of, uh, there's a lot of uh, excitement in the first part with the RSX. And, and as I was saying, that was literally me coming to work and it wasn't, it wasn't scripted. It wasn't, uh, I talked to the customer afterwards off camera and you know, he wanted me to sit with him during the, during the little interview we did in the showroom. And I said, I had no problem with that. A lot of people are not camera friendly. Um, I have warmed up to the camera myself over the years and you know i still get a little bit you know if you want to say shy or whatever you want to say um or people say you know hey man you did awesome in that video it's 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 kind of weird seeing yourself in a video that's all i'll say at least for me it is i don't know i haven't got used to it and i also haven't got used to hearing people come in and say well, which we actually had this week you know hey you're the guy from youtube and you know this guy was actually from florida that said it and he said uh, he drives a semi truck quick story and He's like, I can't believe I'm meeting you. And it was just like, I'm, a, I'm an everyday person, man. And uh, just love what I do here. I got an awesome team. And they love what they do. So we're going to keep the, uh, the footage coming, the content coming. And with that being said, enjoy the rest of your day, your evening, night, whenever you're watching this. Because I'm sure people will be watching it after the day I release it. And um, that's about it, guys. Thank you. And um, keep an eye out for the next video.